I don't know about you, but I've come to realize that we just really, we really never get there. What's it look like? What is it all about? If we actually go to the dictionary, it defines maturity. And you can see it right off the bat, it's kind of a paradox, it's an irony, all right. The state or quality of being fully grown or developed. I don't know about you, but I've come to realize that we just really, we really never get there. We're going to help bridge that gap on how maturity and understanding mature decisions Understanding the link between your thoughts, your emotions, and your behavior. The biggie there is that all three of those have immature characteristics. They are connected at the hip. The biggie there is that all three of those have immature characteristics. Connected, connected, they are connected at the hip. But all three of those have immature characteristics. The way I think determines how I feel, and the way I feel determines how I behave. When we look at the nine metrics, you're going to understand that a little bit better. Let's go down to Cathcart. I'll give it to you again. We're talking about habits. You know, have I created habits of being immature? The answer is yes. The focus is on me. Focus is on you. Too often, we go to work, but we go to work on someone else. I'm going to go to work, but I want to go to work on me. In other words, it's real easy for me to hold you accountable. So there is a personal level of responsibility and accountability when we talk about maturity. Maturity matters most when the emotions are high. And at that point, it's about the decisions I'm making what I think, what I choose to feel, and how I choose to behave. But there's something that goes beyond uh, the technical skill, the hard skill. Here's my training, here's everything I've done, and it looks so good on paper, but yet on the soft side, the way in which I make decisions and get along with people, I'm upsetting everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm creating those fires. We see this. I show up, I give you my resume, my experience, my training, I'm a technical wizard. Man, I look, man, this guy looks great. You've been there. This guy looks great on paper. We need him. We bring him in, and he gets along with no one. What it says here is it says this is reflected in the person's ability to confront someone without attacking them. How can I be assertive without being aggressive? requires a certain level of maturity. Now, you know, we may not be counselors, or we may not be consultants, or we may not be a part of a consortium. It's just me, myself, and I, and I'm out here trying to do better. But we do understand personal attack. We get them all the time. And what that article teaches us is the way in which I handle that attack. When my emotions get flared a little bit, it's the decisions the mature ones or the immature ones. It's with the kicker here, and I'm going to continue to remind you about it, is with the emotions that we get, right? Because when the emotions get kicked in, that's when we get stupid. Yeah, you're responsible for what comes out of your mouth. You are responsible for the emotions that you have. I thought it was up to you to make me feel good. I was wrong. It's my job to make me feel good. We study self-esteem and it's amazing. You know, I truly am my own worst enemy. We're going to help bridge that gap on how maturity and understanding mature decisions that I make in here affect my self-esteem or lower it. Wow talk about that a little bit more. And I am certainly responsible for my behavior. Self-awareness 
Therein lies the introduction of the class, raising our awareness to what maturity is all about. And I can remember for about two weeks, I walked around saying, you do this to me. <clears throat> Been there? The blame game? <clears throat> I didn't do this before I met you. How I'm feeling and how I'm thinking. How do I manage those two? I had to do a 180, and that's really where we're at here. This is all about me and my personal accountability. You and wherever you're at in your accountability. And what we want to do, what we hope to do, is mature to the point where it now becomes an interdependence. It is a we, and we rely on one another.